It's the job of every water utility to provide safe drinking water to their customers. While it takes a team of people to make that happen, for many customers, the customer service representative is the water utility. Representatives are the main contact for customers when they have a question, concern, or there's a problem. A good customer service representative needs to be an effective communicator, but it's also imperative to know the utility, know the water supply, know their job, and the job of their coworkers. This video will cover what customer service is, characteristics of excellent customer service, effective communication skills, how to work with challenging customers, and technologies representatives encounter while on the job. The AWWA Water Dictionary defines customer service as all elements of providing water that meets all health standards to a consumer, delivery, sufficient pressure, measuring the amount delivered, billing at regular intervals, and communicating with the customer to understand service needs. A customer service representative is one of the personnel within a utility who are trained to answer questions from customers that range from billing to pressure problems and taste and odor complaints. In truth, all members of a utility staff have an element of customer service within their responsibilities. For example, the work of a security guard may be unconnected from a customer call center, but it's the security guard's job to ensure that the facility is secure at all times. When secure, a utility can run smoothly and continue to deliver the expected product to the customer. A flag person working on a distribution pipeline repair is another example. Their main job isn't customer service, but when on the repair, they may encounter questions and concerns from customers. They need to have the appropriate answers and remember that they're representing the utility as a whole. One way or another, whether direct or indirect, all employees have an impact on the customer experience. When it comes to customer service, teamwork is especially important. Every person in an organization who interacts with customers has to take ownership to make sure that the customer has their needs met. Every member of a utility must realize that a customer doesn't see the individuals as a utility. They see them as one entity, and what one person does reflects on everyone. When it comes to defining the customer, that person may be external, such as a residential or business utility customer, or the customer may be internal, such as a fellow colleague. External customers are pretty self-explanatory. It's what's considered a traditional customer, anyone who pays for or consumes water outside the utility. This can be a residential customer, owners of a small business or restaurant, operators of commercial buildings, developers, contractors, real estate agents, industrial plants or government agencies. Internal customers are those within the utility. An internal customer may need materials, information, instruction, training, or other assistance. The service provided to these customers ultimately affects the quality of service provided to external customers. Different customer groups have different needs and priorities, but all expect exceptional customer service.